How to build, host and deploy your Flutter website app on GitHub for free by using GitHub Pages. We will also create a custom domain next to using the default website domain provided by GitHub Pages. If you are new here, subscribe to my channel and make sure to watch this video till the end. As a prerequisite for hosting a free website on GitHub, you need to have a GitHub account. Next, you go to your profile and make sure to copy here your GitHub username. After this, we want to create a new GitHub repository. And here you need to paste your GitHub username inside. And after this, you write .github.io. If you give here this specific repository name, then your end domain will look like this. Alternatively, you can also give it here any repository name. However, if you do this, then your website name will be larger and also the repository name is included. And finally, you can set your GitHub repository to public or private. In our case, it doesn't matter so much, so we will choose here public because we will only push the compiled version to this repository. And lastly, you click then here at the bottom on this Create Repository button. And the last step is to push then our Flutter web app to this GitHub repository. And therefore I have created here a website with Flutter. The only thing you need to make sure is that you have here this web folder in your Flutter project. And if you don't have this one, then you simply go to your terminal and here you write then this command Flutter create and dot. And after this, you should also see here this web folder. Make sure to go to your index.html file. Scroll here a bit down until you come to the space tag. And here we want to remove then the space tag, otherwise your hosted domain has later a blank white screen. Also make sure that you save this index.html file and alternatively, if you want to keep the space tag, then you simply need to paste here the URL of your deployed website inside that you simply get later. And lastly, you need to run here this command flutter build web in your terminal. And after this command has finished, you should see here a build web folder in your Flutter project with this compiled index.html file. And if you like, you can also open here this file inside of your folder structure. Next, we want to upload here this compiled website to our GitHub repository. The easiest way is by simply clicking here on uploading an existing file and then you can simply drag and drop here all the files inside. After the upload of all of your files has finished, you can scroll all the way down and click on commit changes. And with this, our compiled Flutter website is here uploaded to this GitHub repository. And lastly, you only need to open here this compiled website. And before we do this, it is important that you have this index.html file here at the root of your GitHub repository. And now you can simply go here to your settings, then scroll here a bit down to the pages section. And here it should say that your website is published and you can then open this link up in a new browser window. And now you have hosted your Flutter website here for free on this GitHub pages. In case you have not chosen here this magic repository name before and you have chosen any other name, then we need to do some more steps right now. As you can see, I have given here my repository any name and I have also uploaded this compiled Flutter website to this GitHub repository. So we have here this index.html file at the root in our GitHub repository. Next, you click then here on the settings, scroll again down and go to the pages section. And now you need to go also here to source and here you need to select then the branch from which you want to serve your website. And also make sure to click then on the save button. And now it will take you up to one minute until your website is published to this domain. Simply refresh your web browser until this website is published and then you can open this up. And I take here a private window, otherwise I have some cache issues. And after some loading, you should see that your website is also hosted here. And this time it has then here this special domain with your GitHub repository name. Importantly, sometimes you also want to update your website. Therefore, while you create here your new GitHub repository, instead of uploading here in file directly, you can also take here then these commands. To update our Flutter website easily, we want to create within our build web folder this GitHub repository. Therefore, inside of your terminal, you go first of all to the build web folder. And now you run here all these commands. So first of all, we want to initialize our Git repository inside of our build web folder. 
Next, we want to add here all the files inside of our build web folder to our GitHub repository. And therefore we call here git add dot. After this, we want to run here these four commands for pushing our Flutter website build to this GitHub repository. Therefore, I simply paste here all these commands inside and press enter. And with this, we have uploaded our compiled web app to this GitHub website. And with this setup completed, we can now easily update our Flutter website. Therefore, I simply go here to my Flutter project. And here I want to change then the background color of our website to green, because right now we have here a blue background color. Inside the terminal, we simply want to create then a new build of our website. After the build is completed, we can then simply go inside of our build web folder. And inside of this build web folder, we have our GitHub repository. Therefore, you can write here inside git status to see all the changes of your new build. And finally, we want to push our new build to GitHub. Therefore, we call here these two commands to commit them. And we also push it to our GitHub repository. And with this, you can go back to your browser and you can refresh here your website. And you see that the background color of our website has changed successfully to green. Sometimes you might not see here the new changes of your website and this is because your browser is still showing the old cached website. Therefore you can simply remove here the cache of your browser or secondly you can also go here to your URL and then you simply change here this URL with this question symbol and then you put here some random string inside. And now if you reload here this new website URL you should see here your changes of your Flutter website. And by the way, if you like this video, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel.